Hello Stalkers, in this video I will show you the best mod currently available for Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. The game just came out last week and the modders already started pouring mods on the Nexus site. Unfortunately, the game has a lot of issues in the performance and gameplay department. But with these mods we can fix and enjoy this game. These 10 mods that I'm going to show you will improve your overall gameplay experience and address most of the issues that the game has right now. Let's start from the first one. Optimized Tweak S2 mod will improve the performance of the game. It also lowers the mouse latency when you're using frame generation. Unfortunately, the game is very unoptimized and even with medium graphic settings, the game stutters. And when you turn on frame generation, you will have a huge input lag, which is not ideal for an FPS title like Stalker. This mod fixes the input lag and also reduces the VRAM used by optimizing textures and shadows around your area. You will not see much difference in visual quality. But you can gain a nice 10 to 15 extra FPS, even without frame generation on. So make sure to check out this mod. The author and creator of Stalker Gamma has also created some mods for Stalker 2. Let's check them out. Grox Modular Mutant Health addresses the tankiness of mutants and allows you to customize each mutant health by simply enabling the mod with the specific mutant health. This allows you to customize the health of each mutant. I didn't like how tanky flashes were, so I reduced their health by about 50%. A mod that you must have in my opinion. We also have another mod by Grok called Grok's Balanced Difficulties. This mod allows you to increase the difficulty by changing things like weapon damage or repair cost. It changes the economy and also reduces the health regen your character has. Increases the price for repairing the weapons, also increases the price for buying ammunition or food from the shops. This makes the game feel a bit more like Stalker Anomaly. I think this makes gameplay a lot more interesting, especially in hard mode. The next mod is called McLean's Better Gunfights. You see, NPCs in Stalker 2 can actually shoot through walls and it doesn't matter where you are, they seem to have an aimbot. And no recoil. This mod changes the bullet trajectory of the weapons the NPCs are holding. Making gunfights a lot more realistic and enjoyable. The longer the range, the more chance the NPCs will miss their shots and it also makes sniping a lot more fun. Now this is an absolutely must have for me, if you know my channel I'm all about realism and survival. This mod is called the real weapons name mod. This mod changes the name of all the weapons to be realistic. I have no idea why game companies use realistic models but then they don't use the real life name of the weapons. But with this mod we can fix just that and it adds a bit more immersion to the game. Well Stalker, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do a lot of content for Stalker and I love testing new mods and show them to the Stalker community. One of the biggest problems in this game is the stealth mechanics. It is a great idea to add stealth in this game, but it's really buggy and most of the time it will not work. So we need to add a mod to also fix this aspect of the game. Axis Stealth mod just does that. It fixes the bugginess stealth mechanic and allows you to be a lot more sneaky around NPCs. This is a must have mod until the devs fix the stealth mechanics. To 
make the stealth mode work even better, you can also use increased melee range mode. I really needed this mod, the ridiculous short range melee attacks was falling short way too many times and this mod helps the stealth mod with those sneaky melee takedowns. I might have something. Trust me, if you use both of these mods it makes a huge difference. Next, I got something similar to Grog's balanced difficulties, but this one is a bit more modular. Modular hard mode mod allows you to change any aspect of the game, whether it's just the difficulty of the economy, which I really like, or just how much loot you can find. You can change how much health the NPCs have. Uh, from this mod because NPCs can be quite spongy even when you shoot them in the face with a sniper. I personally use the NPC module difficulty with this one and I also use the loot one while I still use the Grox balanced mod and so far they've been working quite nicely together. In Stalker Anomaly we have a mod that adds backpack animations, just like Stalker 2. And we also have a mod that makes these backpack animations play a lot faster. Now in Stalker 2 there is a mod that increases the speed of the animation when you open the backpack. It's called Faster Backpack. This is also a must right now, as sometimes it takes way too much time to open up the backpack during a firefight. The last mod is a must, in my opinion, and many of you will probably agree with me. Have you noticed those annoying sparkles that seem to flash around your screen? Well, that is the radiation effect of this game. And a lot of people absolutely hate it, including me. But with radiation noise remover, we can remove this annoying effect once and for all. I never understood why game developers don't add options like this to remove these annoying effects that we don't like, but hey. This is why we have modders, right? To save and improve the game just like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about these mods. Make sure to check them out on Nexus site. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also leave any questions and feedback down here below in the comments. I will also continue making Stalker Anomaly mod videos, but from time to time I will also update and show you more newer Stalker 2 mods. Bye and stay safe in the zone.